Hello everybody, it's an intro you here, and today I wanted to try something a little bit different. So, I've been posting for ages videos about just discussing my thoughts in the community and occasionally maybe doing a video discussing like speedrunning tactics and something like that, but I haven't, I don't know, I haven't done much else and I sort of was feeling bad, like if I publish a video on a different topic, am I to some extent betraying people who have subscribed to me and who are sort of, if I start publishing video, say just playing LEGO Universe, does that betray people who have subscribed to me for informational videos? But I also get the feeling that a lot of the people uh, simply subscribe to me for LU Nostalgia rather than information videos. So today I'm going to try just that. If you're not interested in videos that aren't informational, please let me know because I don't really want to be making videos you guys don't enjoy and I don't really want to portray my subscriber base given I set this entire thing up just about making these. Yes. So, uh, with that, I'm trying something new today, and today today we're just going to be going through LCDRU, and I'm just going to get started playing it through. Because honestly, I spend most of my time on these servers mucking around, trying to make it harder for myself and stuff like that. I might do a bit of that, but I honestly just don't really play through them often, so hopefully, hopefully we'll have some good fun. And I genuinely don't remember everything that's available on LCDRU anymore. Okay, so... Very rarely go through the whole character creation. Vice scheme may well edit this out. Yeah, I, some people have always a clear idea in their head of what their minifigure looks like, and I have, of what like their personal like me, what ninja of LU looks like to me. I don't have a clear idea of that. I decided to need glasses. I don't know why I decided that. I don't personally have glasses, but I don't know there's something about my personality. I feel I should get glasses. Don't know why, but yes. Yeah, so this is this is a bit of vanity, but it's a bit of vanity you gotta have at the start of all of these, right? It's I don't know it's probably probably doesn't make for hugely exciting gameplay. My apologies, but this is why I've got a pen in my pocket. That's, so I, I note they never take that never take account the pen. If we if I have to end up selling this at some point, then don't take out the pen in the price I get it for. It'll still be still be ten. 10 coins and I sell that shirt for um, and it will be 10 coins for any other shirt so is it really worth it? Um, also with uh, so those of you who haven't seen me dropping um, this name one place or another I was infamous coin country back in live I bet I've already named an account if I there we are that's more than I expected um, well I don't have any ideas <laughs> With that, uh, okay, let's just go. Yeah, no point if I can't do. Okay, and with that, it's just that little glow there. I think that light was still on. Anyway, oh, I don't know if I've ever, if I ever published this. I may have published this video. I'm not certain. Some on the channel, but um, oh, I remember back in the day. Um, this was LC. So I'm on LCDRU right now, and LCDRU was the first project I'd ever played. Uh, well, just full stop, actually. Uh, so, like, I played Uni, I played probably Wallace, but no, maybe not Wallace, I don't think that existed by that point. I played Ion Universe, etc, etc, but... Oh, here was LCDIU, I got on, uh, I got on, started playing, and... Um, this screen just came up, <laughs> just never went away. <laughs> I was so hyped and I just got this screen for, like, ever. Um, and if, yeah, um... Then I had to log back out eventually. Yeah, there were some, there were some interesting bugs. I'm sure I've related this anecdote before, but the first time I got uh, I got on TOSIDIU, somehow uh, I managed I managed to uh, trick the game into thinking I simultaneously had five characters. And so when the server sent the packets to to my client, it was trying to tell me about all these five characters I had, and the client was just not having any of it because there's only space on the login screen for four. Um, Ah, uh, yes. Okay, got to admit, I have done Adventure Explorer a lot. Um, <laughs> I've done Adventure Explorer a lot, but interestingly, I haven't gone further that much. Um, so I don't know if I want to bother doing a 100% complete run. It seems, or 100%, uh, no! 
No. No. That hurts deeply. Um, or at least I don't know if I want to bother for your sake recording one. No, don't fall off this time. Do I do I jump down there to get it? I have no coin, so I actually have nothing to lose. Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, that was worth it. I mean, I can't claim zero death status, but I wouldn't have managed. Well, no, we just won't tell anyone. No one has to know. Um, let's go, okay. There's also something weird. I'm not 100% certain what it is, but I, I was some mentioned the other day in one of the discords that you can't get all of the all of the rocket parts from all of the the crates. Apparently, some you just can't get them. You just can't get from certain crates, which is strange. But then again, talking about stuff I don't remember in this in life, I never found Robert the Chicken, um, who is borderline the speedrunning server mascot at the moment. Um, uh, yeah, Robert the Chicken, there is a uh, the end of so many Escape the Venture Explorer any percent runs um, who just occasionally appears and um, destroys the run because there is a 1 in 40 chance with every crate you break that uh, Roger the Chicken will be inside. Roger the Chicken? Robert the Chicken? I, I can't do this. Um, in time, I'm not very good at uh, talking at the same point. So Bob, Bob has given me my universe and this got imagination. Love it. You barely know you're working for the Maelstrom. Barely know that. Okay, so we're built down there. Get up to Sky Lane. Up, up and away. So, I think. So, Enkri claims that he's made this jump. I've. So, if you jump and go slightly to one side, that way precisely not like I just did. If you jump and you just hit right on the edge of there, you can get uh, what in the speedrun community we call slope speed, um, off uh, or edge slope speed, maybe if we're being more specific, and that gets you a little bit of extra speed to make that. I've tried that, I've never managed. I've made decent slope speed, I've not managed it. Apparently it's possible, but I can't do it. I found a much longer way, which involves of getting up there. Uh, which involves jumps like this. I mean, that's the easy jump. There's a jump I can bear, I can rarely make later on. I shouldn't must mess this one up there. There we are. And there's a jump all the way around onto that. Um, and then you can walk right around the edge and make a jump from about there to onto the platform. However, we aren't doing a don't touch the ground challenge today because I've already failed that. Uh, so, I swear I should have more of this. Um, okay. Yes, I have seen, seen my mission tracker. There we are. Yeah, I'm sorry, I could do this sort of, I don't know, pretending to not know where the Venture Explorer goes, or sort of, or sort of acting, acting extremely hyped for everything about the Venture Explorer, and if I'm honest, I'm not, um, because I have, I have played through this one this bit many times before and I don't overly want to patronize you guys. I'm so I'm never certain if this is a bug, but two uh, two of the same. I'm not certain that's meant to happen. But yeah, as yeah, as much as I love uh looking at this, I'm there's some hype has been lost with regards to the Venture Explorer. Um having played through it so many times by now. But yes, hopefully because genuinely I don't spend that much time actually playing through the like I barely remember. I've played through on this account, I've played through the the Nimba Station missions like once, I think. Um so I genuinely barely remember all this, so this will be and I haven't played and none of the other servers get that far, so this will be a voyage of if not discovery, at least rediscovery for me. But I also think I played it earlier on when a lot more bugs were still present. Oh, should we go on a Robert the Chicken percent run? That, that sounds like fun. And despite what I said about not trying to 100% it, I am now instinctively trying to 100% it. And since we've wasted this much time on it, it seems like it might be worth getting the one remaining uh, rocket module. Yeah, uh, an interesting thing about LEGO Universe is most of it's mapped to keep 
to your keyboard somehow, uh, which I didn't realise. This is a diagram someone posted on uh, one of the DLU just Discord channels the other day, um, and it just just shows just a map of like keys on your keyboard and arrows pointing to them. It doesn't show what any of those arrow, what any of those buttons do. I think from memory, it just uh, or we don't have that part of the graphic or whatever. But so you've just got this huge thing showing all the arrows that are connected to some part of the game. This plaque actually say. Let's go through. The engine two is leaky imagination. The maelstrom has torn apart most of the bow. I have ordered the passengers to abandon ship, whilst they still can. Venture explorer, Captain Smog. Who's the captain? Is it Bob? Is it canonically Bob? I genuinely don't know. I know I the only reason I the reason I think it might be Bob is a reference Winsent made some video. Ship's registry. Ship's registry doesn't tell me who the captain is, though. That's that's always good. Yeah, yeah. There's a reference Winston made ages ago, um, in his video about um, who thought it was a good idea to in his video thoughts on L LU, which I've mentioned so many times in this channel by now. Uh, about who thought it was a good idea to get Bob to be a ship's captain. Yay! There we are to be a ship's captain, um, which possibly a fair point. Um, Uh, but, yeah, I don't know if he actually economically is. Yeah, not that it really makes much difference to anyone here. Um, okay, no. So these both go across to the other way, so this one will take me up there. Yeah, I guess part of the fun of watching someone do a playthrough a lot of times is the Voyage of Discovery, and, yeah, I'm sorry for not bringing you guys that in, up here, because I don't want to... There are some, there are some channels... Some YouTube channels I used to watch that I've now found out. Like there's, oh, I've now just sort of begun to realise. Wait a second, no, these people weren't actually doing this. These people were literally just actors paid to act out of being a YouTuber. Um, <laughs> so, and I don't really want to be that disingenuous. Wait a second, I swear I just got an achievement. Was that the achievement? I think it was. I've always been a fan of this one. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's me just falling for the sort of traditional, oh, the, these are male colours, therefore you must like the blue. Um, okay. Pink rocket. I'm just making all these now. The one really annoying thing about this, I don't know if this animation, this cutscene is meant to play every time, but I know it does. Because um, because I typically like to, when I'm doing this, to just get all these rockets made. Um, advancing that animation plays every day. Oh, the good news is this video hasn't had to be ended by now because of a bug with this, uh, with this rocket creation thing. I had that on a, had that a while back. I don't remember if it was on a, if it was on a run I was recording like this because this isn't the first, the first run I've recorded, of, uh, with me talking in it. Like, I've done some of these in the past and I've just used them for background footage in the end. Because I never really did them with the plan of uploading them the same way. This one I'm actually expecting to, to upload as a particular video. And off we go. Oh yeah, other things. So you'll note no music. Um, the reason for this is because... <laughs> so for ages Vaisky was having difficulty trying to work out what's, what's going on. Your audio quality used to be so good, Ninja. What's well, suddenly... Or not so good, but like it used to be workable. Now suddenly your audio is just doing these really weird things. What's going on? And so it turns out that without realizing it, these insanely cheap earphones, and by insanely cheap I mean free. Someone in my family picked them up on an aeroplane flight. Uh, turns out they have a they have a uh, if ear, earphone. Yeah, I can't speak. They have a microphone built in. Um, and so yeah, they uh, for ages <laughs> we couldn't work out well, what had suddenly happened to my audio quality. And it turns out that I was using these earphones, I just had them in, just solely out of habit, I wasn't listening to anything, but I just had them in whilst I was recording, and that was generating like huge rustling noises as they just brushed against my shirt, and stuff like that. Escaped the maelstrom. We've had some trouble down here, go see Epsilon Starcracker from the Nexus Force, he can help you. Um, yeah, uh, and yeah, it turns out the problem all along was 
was with these earphones. There was probably more of a pointed anecdote than I can remember, but I don't know what it was. Um, you may notice I lose my train of thought a lot on these videos. This is the reason why I started having to do uh, scripted scripted videos about information, like LU information and all that sort of thing, um, because I was I was so useless. Um, anyway, I think. I think, in, in the aim of making this episodic, mostly because that way I can sort of upload these to YouTube sort of one at a time without it taking ages to upload and utterly killing my broadband speed for that time, I'm going to get it. end this video now. Um, as usual, developer channels will be in the description. Let me know what you think of this. Like, I'm recording probably a lot of this in advance. Um, I'm probably going to possibly record up to Nimbus Station today, um, I don't know, but so I'll have the videos, but just let me know if you think this is a good idea, if you think I should keep doing this, because I will go back and do this with DLU, and genuinely, DLU is quite a different experience, I still feel, um, like obviously Venture Explorer is identical, but um, so if you guys like this, I'll keep doing these sorts of things in the future, uh, and I'll post the rest of the footage I collect today. Uh, yeah, as always, developer channels, links in the description, they're the ones who make this possible. In particular, this has been recorded on LCDR Universe. LCDR is a legend. Um, yeah, make sure to support, support them, because I'm just a guy running around their server. They're the ones who've spent years of their lives making the server. So support them in any way you can. Um, with that, um, next time let's see how far we can get. Maybe, maybe Spider Queen? Maybe not that far. We'll see. Anyway, with that, I've been Intro You. Thank you for watching, and I will see you around.